I created an Instagram chatbot using NA10. As a business owner, it's impossible to reply to DMs all the time, but not replying can cost your business. This automation replies to the text instantly based on details about your products and services. Not generic replies, I'm talking about accurate replies based on the queries. Now I will show you how to build this automation using NA10. Today, we're going to build this automation step by step and I'll show you exactly how each component works together to create chatbot for Instagram. Connecting Instagram to NA10. So here is the part where we connect our Instagram to NA10. First, you need to go to Facebook developer. Click on the meta for developers link here. On the top right corner, there is my apps. Click on that. Here you'll see the app section with the option to create an app. Click on create app and then provide a name for it. And then click on next. In the use cases section, scroll down to the end and you'll see other options. Select that and click on next. You can just select the business here and then next again. This is the final window where you'll see the option to create app. Click on create app to create your Instagram app here. Simple as that. Wonderful. You can see your app has been created here. Now in the product section of your app, you'll see the Instagram option. Click on setup. You'll see the app is set up for Instagram business login. Before you generate the access token, make sure you make it live. You'll see the option to make it live, but first you must provide a privacy policy URL. For that, you need to go to App Settings Basic. Here you need to add a domain and privacy policy URL. For app domain, you can use na10.com. For privacy policies, you can search for NA10 privacy policy. Copy the link and paste it here. For terms of service URL, search for NA10 terms of service. Copy this link and paste it here as well. That's it. Just save the changes. After that, you can make this app live. Great, now the app is live. Now you can track your Instagram account here in this app. Go back to Instagram under products and click on setup under Instagram login. Here you will see the option to generate an access token. Click on add account, click continue. And then you must provide your Instagram login credentials. you'll see your Instagram has been connected here. This is your Instagram ID. Now click on generate token. This will create your Instagram API token. Select all the required options and then click allow. With that, you can see your Instagram access token has been created. You just need to copy this and store it somewhere because you'll only see this once. Copy it and click done. After that, you need to go to N8N. Click on your HTTP module here. Select generic credential type. In the auth type, you must select header auth. Click on the header auth section and create a new credential. Here, you just need to paste the copied API code. Name it to your Instagram account and simply save it. Your Instagram connection has been made in N810. Next, we need to connect our webhook. After setting up the Instagram connection, unlink this route and link the node to the respond to webhook module. Open this webhook and make sure your HTTP method is get and the respond type is using respond to webhook module. This is to verify our webhook first initially. After that, we don't need to use this respond to webhook module here. After setting this up, make sure your scenario is live and save it. Copy the production URL here. You need to go back to your app in Meta Developers. Here you will see configure webhook. Paste your callback URL here. As a verify token, you can pass anything. After that, click on verify and save. You can see our webhook has been configured and verified. From now on, your webhook will trigger whenever a message or event happens in your Instagram account. In the bottom section, you can select on which occasion your webhook needs to trigger. For example, if you only need to trigger on messages, then you can disable everything else. If you want to trigger on comments only, then you can disable everything except the messages section. After that, you just need to go back to your webhook node and remove the respond to webhook connection here. Change the HTTP method and also change the response type to immediately. So guys, 
We're already connected to our Instagram account. We've created the app and this is our workflow. So this is our Instagram account. Our webhook is currently active and the workflow is running smoothly. So let's test it out. I'll send a message to check if it's working. All right, sending it from another account of mine. So I just received a message. Now let's check if the workflow was triggered. So yes, guys, the message has been received. You can see the high right here. Let's go ahead and copy this message too. We've just pinned that message. You can see the high here. Next, we'll check whether it's a regular text message or in the text format. So we'll set up a switch to handle that. In this switch, it will check whether the message is a text. If the message is in text format, it will pass through to the next condition. Here, we'll check whether this condition exists or not. If the condition exists, it means it's our own chat message. So we don't want to process that. We only want to capture the receiver's message. So we'll apply the does not exist condition instead. This way, we only capture the receiver's message. Here's our AI agent. In this agent, we'll input the received message. Here, we'll drag and drop the message into the agent. Here's the agent prompt I've set up. I've connected it to OpenAI GPT 4.1 mini motor, and I've also integrated Pinecone. Here I stored every detail of my company regarding our product, our service, and everything is stored in a Pinecone in this namespace. Based on the query, it will collect the data from the Pinecone and it will go to the AI agent and create a reply accordingly. So here, here we collect all the things. Here in the reply variable, we'll put the output from the AI agent and we get it. So we will convert it into two JSON strings. In the center, we will store the center's ID from the webhook. Here we will get the center ID. Yeah, here you can see the center ID. This is what we want uh, for leaving the reply. We'll drag and drop the node here. Then we'll set up the URL for the HTTP request by dragging in the required parameters. We don't have a direct node for Instagram, so we'll create an HTTP request node instead. Here, we're using the post method. This is our URL, the endpoint for sending Instagram messages. We will apply for the Instagram messages. So we are using the HTTP graph, Instagram.com. So here we will paste a version that we stored in the previous node. This is my Instagram ID from the developer app we created. And this is the message endpoint. Now we can move on to the next part, the send body part. Here, this is our JSON. We are giving the JSON body. In the body, the received ID. Here, we will give the sender ID, which we have stored in the edit field. You can see this is the ID. We are dragging and dropping here. Then in the text message, this is the reply message that we are going to give back to the user. We can run the flow step by step, execute. The AI agent is working. We got the output and the edit field is also working. Everything is fine. Finally, we can execute the Instagram step. It's working because you can see we have sent the message. Here's the message ID. Let's check in the end whether the message is sent or not. Here you can see the message. Then I'll send another message from another account. What are your company details? The message has arrived. You can see the bot is giving the reply. I wrote our company details and it's successfully showing the reply. We can ask something else as well. Here you can see the bot is giving replies. So we successfully created the AI agent for Instagram. You can ask anything and the bot will give replies. So that's all guys. With this automation, you won't have to worry about replying to DMs anymore.